I sure like the rollerblade. What about you? Do you like to skate or ride a bike? If you do, I bet you wear a helmet like this. Or you might even wear wrist guards like these. These things have a very important function. They keep our heads and our arms from getting injured. So, we know how to protect our head and other outside parts of our bodies. But what do you know about keeping your insides in good shape? Not too much, huh? Well, neither did I until I met this guy with kidney disease. And I started thinking, hey, what's kidney disease? Actually, I was thinking, how do your kidneys get sick in the first place? So I started asking some questions and got some very interesting answers. This is Dr. Lisa Gay Woodford. She's a nephrologist. That's medical talk for kidney specialists. She can explain where your kidneys are and what they do better than I can. Your kidneys are about the size of your fists. Just about everybody is born with two kidneys, and those kidneys are located on either side of your spine in your back. They filter the blood to get rid of all the impurities and the extra salt and water that you take in during the day. All of that material is in fluid and ultimately it's collected here in the central portion of your kidney and goes down to your bladder and then you pee it out. Lots of, of adults have kidney disease but kidney disease can occur in children and it's never too soon to start taking care of your kidneys. Hey, that was cool. So now I guess you're wondering, how do I know if I have kidney disease? Well, you could have it and not even know it. But don't worry, there are lots of signs. Just pay attention to what your body is telling you. When the kidneys fail, waste products build up in the blood that are normally uh, eliminated by the kidneys. There's several signs and symptoms of kidney disease. These include swelling, which can be around the eyes or around the ankles, blood in the urine, fatigue, loss of appetite, and increased frequency of urination. All of these signs and symptoms may indicate the kidney disease is present, but they may also be symptoms of other diseases. There are several causes of kidney disease. The two most common causes of kidney disease are diabetes and high blood pressure. There are some things you can do to try to prevent kidney disease. Drinking plenty of water every day is one thing. Also, you need to get plenty of exercise. You need a good diet that doesn't have too much salt and sugar in it. A good diet is also the best way to keep from getting overweight. It sounds easy enough, doesn't it? But sometimes kidney problems can get real serious. And sometimes people are born with real serious kidney problems. These people, even kids, have a special blood treatment several times a week. It's called dialysis. Watch this. Dialysis is a procedure that removes extra water and toxins that build up in a child's body whose kidneys have stopped working. This can be done in one of two ways. During hemodialysis, a special tube is placed in a child's arm or shoulder or leg that allows us to remove blood from their body through a very specialized filter there are dialysis units that provide dialysis for people with renal failure. However, children require specialized units. Another form of dialysis is called peritoneal dialysis. A special tube is placed into the child's stomach that allows us to fill the stomach with fluid that helps remove water and toxins. The advantage of this form of dialysis is that it can be performed at home by the child's parents while the child is sleeping. Although dialysis allows children and adults to have a more normal lifestyle, the preferred form of treatment for anyone with renal failure is a transplant. A kidney transplant. I learned about this when my brother got his driver's license. He showed me where he'd signed his name on the back of the license to donate his organs to someone who might need a transplant. It was a big deal to him, and I thought it was pretty cool too. I can donate my organs also. I've told my parents that's what I want to do in case something happens to me. That way, if someone needed a kidney, they could get mine and live longer. Actually, I could donate my kidney while I'm still alive, because you really only need one. But two is better. Little kids to old people oftentimes develop end-stage renal disease, meaning that the kidneys no longer work. 
Kidney transplantation is a wonderful gift to people who have been relegated to living on dialysis. The surgery itself is pretty much straightforward. All organs need blood that goes in and goes out. And we have to connect those blood vessels of the kidney to the patient. We then hook up something called the ureter, which then carries urine, which is a byproduct of the kidney, after it filters the blood down into the bladder where people can urinate again. People who have had kidney transplants, they are some of the most grateful people in the world. And the lives that they now lead are so normal, you wouldn't even know that they even had a transplant. And a good friend of yours may have already been a renal transplant recipient, and you didn't even know it. Remember I was telling you about my friend with kidney disease? Well, guess which one of these guys he is. You can't tell, can you? Cool, huh? So you never know. But now you do know a little more about your insides. Think about taking care of your kidneys with a good diet, lots of exercise, and drink eight to 10 glasses of water each day. That's like protection for your kidneys, like this helmet here is protection for your head. Think about it. Come on, Jake, let's go. Okay, see ya. Hey, wait for me.